After I left Tencent, do I go back Penang and start up Penang fully? We were one of the very first to start videos in Malaysia, so that time it took off really fast. How so much can you make from one TikTok live like, session? Yeah. Well, at first it was so hard that I asked him like, am I more important or business more important? <laughs> <laughs> 8 a.m. Uh, he texts me, bro, I would like to take a stake in your yeah. company. Oh, wow. he's like, so I ran to my brother's room and said, Jose! <laughs> How much did you guys cash out? <laughs> About million. Mm. We invest a lot in crypto. We will go yeah, crazy. MCO time, we were like a lot of other people thinking want to get rich quick. But one casual morning, all of us just casually made like 80k each. Yeah. And then we went home happily. Yeah, a lot of money. I made like a six-figure loss from there. Okay, today we have the co-founders of Good Food Media. I know some of you might not have heard about Good Food Media, but think about KL Foodie, Penang Foodie, uh, Bangkok Foodie, Halal Foodie, all the foodies and recently very famous one. How much do you pay for your rent, Malaysia homies? They are all under Good Food Media. So let's welcome Pinyang and Rimei. Hi. Okay, uh, thanks Pinyang and Rimei for joining us today. It's really impressive to see how you guys transform from, from a food blogger to uh, such a big media agency, right? Yeah. But I just wonder, what is the passion that inspired you to start? Is it passion for food or your vision for this media agency? Mm. You wanna go first? Yeah, okay, I'll go first. So actually, back in high school time, I always wanted to be a journalist. But fun fact is when it comes to like my uh, university time, I actually googled what is the highest paying job. And the first answer that comes out is, is investment banker. So I actually studied finance and investment banking. Oh my! Did you just simply decide. Yeah, <laughs> that's when I decided. And my mom and I also supported me. Like, they don't care like what degree I go for. So okay. I just studied three full years of um investment banking. Um yeah, a lot of people might not know this background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I actually worked in a corporate finance firm for one full year, and but then I decided like finance is not for me. Like I'm not a very number person. So I. I'm still a very creative person. So actually one year later, um, I worked in another company and I went back to uh, Penang and that's when I met uh, Pinyang. What, what's, your, what's the school that you studied before? It's a girl, girl school, right? Yes, so my high school is Penang Chinese Girls High School. So we are full, uh, I'm a full science, science stream student. So cool. um, a lot of my friends, uh, they went into medical field, engineering field. So I'm actually a full one of the very few who go tech, tech, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you got a, you are the full A students kind of kind yeah. of student, right? yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys know each other since when? Okay, so I the first time I met May was uh, together with our mutual friend. Yeah. So that time we are already working. It's a bit of love yeah. the, uh, love story. I think that time I I, I broke up already. Uh, I was single. So then that time. She isn't single. Hey, she wasn't single. Don't plan misconception yeah. here. So no, so so we're still friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Sorry, so we go you. out and so so the story was my friend said that uh, I'm meeting my friend. It's a good friend. My, I'm meeting my friend from Penang, uh, at Mid Valley. Then I said, okay, I can give you a ride. Oh, both of you uh, were in KL that time. KL that time. time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but then then he said, okay, then you can drop me, uh, at Mid Valley. So I said, okay, sure, can can. Then when I first saw May, wow, very so pretty, pretty, so pretty. Then I said, where are you guys going next? <laughs> yeah. Then but then that time, uh, she has a bo she has boyfriend. So I said, I didn't. We didn't continue the conversation lah. So until a point, until a few months later, she broke up and go back to Penang. Then that time I was working full time uh, in a marketing firm in in Penang. So she went to my cup co that that company. Yeah, coincidentally. Job application. To the same. Oh, you, you guys were working in the same uh, digital... Didn't, she, she, she went to apply for, oh, for yeah, a job. But I didn't get it. Yeah. But previously, you were working in the corporate finance industry. Corporate finance. Yes, 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 correct. So I, I wanted to switch to something more creative. That's why mm. I actually went to apply for a marketing firm. But they uh, I, they didn't let me. <laughs> well, was your salary quite decent that time? Um, I think they are finance. offering... Corporate finance. Okay, okay my finance. first job was 2.8k. And then we get Swang Sing, which is double salary for Chinese New Year. That's like their culture. Like, uh, what about like yearly bonus? So I worked one year and so I didn't get any yearly oh, bonus. But then you quit after <laughs> that and go back to finish. 
What's yeah, the reason actually, that you go back to Penang? I'm sure it's, it's not because of Penang, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> so that time, yeah, I, I, I figure the finance world is not really for me la, because it's very numbers oriented. Then yeah. I just want to go back to something more creative. Yeah. Mm. I see. But you, that time, you also don't know that Penang no, uh, has so, any kind so, of feelings for it. It's just co- coincidence that. Uh, you applied to yeah, the company. Yeah, yeah. and then we... Then that time, I was doing Penang Footy part-time. Yeah. Oh, you started oh, like, already? Yeah, I started already, like 2017 that time. After I left Tencent, do I go back Penang, I started yeah. Penang Footy part-time. La. So then every single night, me and my brother would go out and shoot content for free for hawker. Then the love story continue. So I will adjust me, hey, I'm going to shoot for this cafe. Do you want to go out this Saturday? Yeah. Because I, uh, her passion also content creation photography, so I use that as a part of the reason excuse to, to excuse to. So that time she became like part of your team la. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you know she broke up already ah. I know. I knew. I knew. Yeah. <laughs> then I turn she a room. Turn she a room. <laughs> and then what's the what's the point that you guys? decided to form a company mm. okay so you... actually when he asked me out before we were dating mm. we always use that as an excuse right so we'll go out and i'll shoot the photo for him and mm. then he will write and then, but then after we get together we actually stop for a, a period of time then his friend will be like hey so Penangfuli is really your excuse to date a <laughs> yeah, girl only is it like that so, you can shoot yourself out yeah. yeah so after that we actually think about it and we decided to you know uh follow our passion back yeah mm. so for me personally i'm really very into like storytelling la, because mm. journalism is still something that i picked up since high school oh, so cool. i i joined like those uh Gongwa, Gongwa cool. journalist oh, oh. Can <laughs> <hobbies>. <laughs> yeah. so then um i uh so he actually was Right, writing a lot of blogs and I started to pick up like videos. I actually googled how to edit videos on YouTube. Oh my cool. Yeah, mm. so that's how I started. So I actually googled how to use Premiere Pro and then um, uh, we, we bought a camera, first mm. camera G7X Mark 2. One. Mark two. Mark two. One, two. Two. Yeah, that's yeah. our first camera. Then we Very just popular camera at time. and shoot and then I will use the Premiere Pro to edit. Mm. So by then editing is such a fast, like, it's, it's very, very complicated to edit still, not like now using CapCut. But right? you guys were, you, you guys already start monetize the page already that mm-hmm. time or you have to use your own capital to... to so the camera is our capital. Capital. Yeah, our I still own. remember we also, I took uh, about 26 months that time not by now pay later is installment plan to get a MacBook to edit the video. Yeah. So I think uh HY asked like why we decided to go full time. So mm. that time um, we were monetizing pretty well. We charged brand hawker or not not hawker la, but mostly restaurant, mm. new cafe, fifty dollars, fifty ringgit. Our first one first. was two hundred ringgit. Two hundred ringgit already. Two hundred ringgit. Uh, 200 ringgit. Then he took a day off to do yeah, a, a leave to go for <laughs> to go a and review. Yeah. 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 Then um, so we started to monetize more 200 ringgit, 400, 800. But at that time, we still working full time. Mm. Yeah. So we, we, until a point uh, where our revenue become 50,000 a month. 15,000. 15, yeah. That was mm. because we have three co founders at that yeah. time. And then we just say, like, okay, we need to cover our own full time salary. Correct. And plus make some surplus on top of that. Mm. Then we only quit. Yeah, because so our parents, uh, my, our, my, my dad still working that time. So he, he still sell things at uh, morning market. Yeah, I know. Then I don't think we can, we couldn't afford to. Ask him to support us uh, because yeah. after uni life, we try to make a lot of side hustle. Yeah. We, we play game, we sell in game currency to support our our school fees. We got PTPTN PT and loans. La. So that time we said we have to make sure our we can cover our full time salary. So 333, about 9k. So we try about constantly, we have about six months, 15,000. Then well, it's quite consistent. It's quite, very consistent it's already consistent. that time. Yeah. How many jobs you were doing? At that point so that time that we, point. we started monetize like 1k we oh, got about 10k uh 10 10 videos a month already and we we hired two interns uh, oh yeah spend it quite fast right yeah two interns yeah. that time we're paying them 400 ringgit yeah, yeah. about that i forgot mm, and that one of them me. is still with us until today so we also got paid from google adsense 
Mm. Uh, so, so that's how we cover our monthly monthly la. Mm. Then we, we resign at the same point. But I resign first uh, January, then May and my brother, uh February and March. Uh, how much is your full time salary that time? Before that time, uh, mine was three thousand one. Mm. Mm. Mine was three K. How does it feel like to go all in into this business? You have to be very determined, right? Yes, yeah. yes. You guys started from like, um, the first year you guys were doing, you get like 1,000 followers. Mm. What's yes. the reason that you haven't give up at that point of time? Because I think you took a year to build like 1,000 followers is, yeah. is yeah. pretty long and slow, yeah, right? Because that time, I, we started Penang Foodie as a side hustle. Ma. So that time we monetized through Google AdSense. So every single day, I see the, the income coming in from... To 20 cent USD a day to one, yeah. one, one USD a day to 20 USD a day. So, wow. so in fact, until now, I still, I still love side hustle. So, Cause that's, that's my, yeah. that's my passion. passion to self-sustain because yeah. like even 1k following, he's already getting like a few uh, right, some think, money for yeah. like at, uh, at sense. So still can self-sustain that mm. time. But after I came in, we do video, actually it took off pretty fast yeah. uh, from 1k to 8k and then the rest is like because when we first really started also it's not really about the vision of getting a lot making a lot of money it's just like self-sustaining uh subsidizing our money petrol yeah, yeah, yeah. um but but i still remember i told my mom this is gonna be big la. yeah oh, this business is gonna be big one day we, does we she feel like you're, you're drawing biscuit like tapping tapping hot tapping <laughs> No, I'm just sharing every, ha- well, every, very very supportive one. one. Every little wow. happy moment, yeah. I will share to my family. La. Yeah. yeah. But then we, so, we tried to pivot. I remember pivot. got one point is like, because we were getting so little engagement on, on our article. So we we were one of the very few English-based uh, media also at that mm. time, especially Facebook that time, a lot of um, Chinese or full Malay. Yeah, page, yeah. Mm. Right. And then I also asked him, like, I feel like giving up so much. I say like, should we change to Chinese page because their engagement is crazy? Like one post, we will get one k likes, but yeah. English page we get only maybe like two three hundred because of the mixture of race and culture in Malaysia. So, um, people tend to watch like Chinese tend to watch full yes. Chinese, Malay tend to watch full Malay, and uh, yeah, so on. So, uh, but it turns out that after uh, because because how we insist to keep on doing English, English. I still remember say okay, we just keep on doing. So up until now, I realized that's a very big advantage we have because then um, there's very little choice of English media page in, uh, in Malaysia at that point of time. Yeah, so when, when people talk about food, there's uh, quite a, a selection of Chinese media page yeah. and quite a selection of Malay media page. But English media page is so scarce that it stands out. Yes, and then yes. we were also the only media page that could uh, food media page that could target like all three races, like, everyone exactly. in Malaysia basically. Mm. But you was you were doing videos already that time, mm. and also yeah. blog blogging. Blogging. Yeah. You still continue to blog. Yes, we yes. still continue. So there was a mixture of uh, articles and uh, videos on our page. But I think we were one of the very first to start videos in Malaysia. So that time it took off really fast. It was like the turning point. Yeah. So when you guys quit your full time job, mm. you guys straight away form a good food media company. Uh, so we formed our first company before Good Foodie Media, Samyang Bahai, it's Good People Venture. So it's a partnership. Because when we first started our company, uh, my dad told me, hey, you don't go all out Samyang Bahai first because you have to pay for audit and Same everything. like us. Yeah. Yeah, it's an LLP, right? Yes, uh, a limited LLP, partnership. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so we, okay, la, we follow our my dad advice, pay for partnership, la, just uh. partnership. Uh, not until we want to raise our first fund. Because we want to, we go to cradle fund, government fund. You all say you have to be a senior behind company. Ah, uh, yeah. Because it has to be audited so that they can give you money. So that time, there were just two of you mm. that yes. started uh this venture. Yes, partnership. But uh, this partnership. But yeah. then, what's the reason that you feel like oh, Pinyang is the person that I can work with? Because mm. I that time you you guys were couple already. Uh, yes, yes. yes. We are uh, officially couple already. Yeah. Yeah. You pantang or not working with partner? At first, um, yeah, I, I remember at first it was so hard that I asked him like, am I more important or business more important? <laughs> <laughs> because like a lot of our quarrel is about the uh, job, about our business, about mm. work. But then um, as time goes by, I think that 
um, having differences is good because it means that we are both trying to add value to the company. You guys have the same goals, lah. Yeah. yeah. Like like every weekend, supposedly you go cafe for dating. Uh, most of the time, I open laptop just to work. It became a job, lah. Yeah, it became a job. Yeah. Write yeah. reviews. That's one thing. It's hard to segregate between mm. your life, life and, and your job. job. Yeah. But that's just part of the. Quarreling, eh? yes. Sometimes, like we will say, like, "Hey, we should do this," and then he was like, "Oh, we should we do should that." Do so that's where we also yeah. debate a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. why I pantang working with partner pantang because yeah, a lot of people, of I think. I think yeah. for me also quite hard because another co-founder is my brother. Yeah. So from family to relationship mm. to me, I'm in a between. I'm in between, uh. So I'm not sure if you still remember there was one shooting, right? My brother just left the cafe. Why? Because we were quarrel. We were quarrel with our about what? our. Business. Yeah, debating about something. Yeah, debating like, about something. Robot, yeah. Luckily, my, my it's not brother. about the food. I'll, I'll be no, like. no, it's not about the food, but it's more about the business. Then my my brother just left. Then the how cafe. did you resolve that? But usually I think we for us, we, we are quite very okay lah. Forget yeah. very fast. Next day, Next day we are like okay. Like nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened yeah. again. So that's the beauty of our partnership lah. Yeah, I think you mm. cannot hold grudge towards your partners, and you cannot be too calculative towards your. Yes, partners. exactly. Yeah. But most of the time, we quarrel because of our the direction of company, yeah. the content. Ultimately, so, we want the best. Yeah. So that's mm. why sometimes, even as a family, we also do voting. We we'll say, like, okay, then three of us vote. It's like very agent. funny one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we were talking about your brother, right? I, yeah. I'm sure you guys have different roles. Like, who is in charge of what to avoid all this quarreling, <laughs> or else you won't be here today, right? Yes. So. What so, were you in charge? I know you were the okay. COO. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, I in charge mostly of the operation. I think until today, I still, um, uh, I still interview candidates with my HR. So my HR will filter first, and then I will still, uh, interview together with her because what excites me, uh, a lot is when I meet talents. So I like to put talents in their place, and I believe with a team of good talents, it will grow the company further. So that's what I'm still doing it now myself until today. And then um, I also um, make sure I grow new business units, lah. For example, because now our company started as a media company, but now we are also progressing into um, KOL and all that. So yeah. I will make sure the SOP and the operation there is stable. So that's mm. what I do. On so other than marketing, you guys also do like talent management. Yes, that's a new. But thing you have to oversee mentioned. the whole thing. Yeah. So right now, I I just need to train them. Lah. I just need to give them the. Uh, procedure the SOP, make sure uh, they can run it themselves. So if you are handling all the operation, what does Pinyang do? You just give a free gift to people. No, no. It's a people person. <laughs> I, I think May is more to towards people person. So I a lot, of, yeah. Oh, yeah. So a lot of times, um, she will go one to one to people to our to our to our people, uh, be it motivating or giving feedback. because uh. me and my brother, we are quite uh, that's our weakness. We are not so upfront. We all we are not so people friendly lah yeah. per se. So my my so for my brother, he focus a lot of content. So all the new pages or all the current oh, content moderation, content carefully, guy. Malaysia homie still still go through him. So he will set a very strong target oh. for the views for organic content, paid content. Oh, he will be yeah. in charge. So he will set a standard yeah. mm. because I realized that he's not. Uh, he's not always on the screen, right? right. He's like mostly two of you, especially you. Yes. Yeah. So I will yeah. be. I can say that I'm. I'm a CEO com- company, so I do more in strategy. Uh, I am the face person now, lah, for Good Foodie Media. So I usually go out and talk, talk deals. I get businesses yeah. for the company. So people love him, lah, when he goes out and talk. Like clients yeah. love him. Mm. That's yeah. The kind of people. Yeah, I think he he. He built his image already. Yes. Yeah. Talking about strategy, I just wonder you guys mm. have so many pages, right? What's the business secret? Like, what's the sauce mm. to manage to uh, build this yeah. kind of? Yeah, I yeah. think we started as a media also. company, mm. right? But now we we seeing ourselves in the future, it will be a agency company, lah. Yeah. but so, maybe we answer like how yeah. we manage the company now. Yeah. Okay. I think um, what makes our operation so smooth is that we actually hire. Different page manager to in charge of all the different pages. So, for mm. example, Pinai Foodie, we have our own uh, page manager, so Tesla. So, what we do is we will hire a, a group of creators, and then the ones with um good responsibility, good leadership, will make them the page manager. Oh, uh, cool! So they mm. will report 
to these page yeah. managers and then we just need to liaise with these page managers. So from 70 people, now we just need to manage maybe 15 of the top page managers. Yeah. I see. So they, they all have like different KPI to hit. They yes. do have uh, like... What's the standard uh, you know, views? Like, um, do you have like one standard for all the page to follow? I think uh, pretty in much. In terms of quantity, much. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So our KPI is like how many videos you need to do per... You have to per be very week. consistent. Yeah, and then every month we will track the growth of that page. Mm. But then how do you define a good content? Yeah, I think so, very easily we see the views. Uh. Yeah. We see the views. So in media space, it's very competitive. Yeah. Every day is keep on changing, right? So we, we try to be as spearhead as possible. Yeah. For, so we also mm. reward them la, for mm. a certain threshold that they reach. Like for content creators, if they reach how many thousand views, then we will reward you monetarily. Monetary, yeah. I see. During COVID, how mm. did you guys survive? Because especially when you're doing food content and lockdown is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I still remember that was... First month. First month. We barely break even. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember we pay tax that time. Yeah. We have to pay about... How, how much? much? I forgot. But we forgot to like do the installment. So yeah. it was like one full year of tax. Mm. Suddenly, we have to pay a few hundred k. I forgot one I thought we were gonna penalty one. We pay, uh, yeah. So you can either opt for installment or you need ah, to pay yeah, one yeah. time. Yes. Which oh, okay. We didn't pay late, but it's just that we didn't go for installment mm. first. I remember we had to transfer nine hundred k in tax. Well, so suddenly we have to fork out so a lot of cash yeah. to pay. And then MCO key. I think a lot of people thought MCO we were doing better. So it's actually two parts. Our follower and our content is doing better. Our monetization is doing much worse mm. because uh, lockdown we couldn't go out yeah, you shoot. couldn't get yes. the content yeah yeah sme cannot open so cannot open they also won't advertise on us so how did you survive that i i remember that time i only talked to three people one is grab one is maybank one is in it so i take i told i just text them hey if there's anything that foodie can come in please let me know i can give a good price uh so that time thankfully they are very supportive so that time maybe has some some local campaign so we advertise for them. GrabFood has delivery campaign and anything has some some other brands campaign for us. Yeah. But at the time, I think we pivot. At the time, we, we have about 20, so 20, 20 people. people. Yeah. 20 people. So I asked them. So that time, actually, it's so he suggested stressful. to do affiliate, Aff affiliate for the longest time. But we always like put off the plan because we feel like it's not a very good Healthy business. Uh -huh. So yeah. affiliate is also a passive business. Yep. So we put a link, people buy, you get commission. Yeah. We Lazada tried that before, like every maybe every day we only could get a few conversion. So we get like two, three ringgit as a commission. Yeah. So that time we know e-commerce booming, a lot of people buying tissue paper, a lot of yeah, people I... buying, a lot of people, right? E-commerce was booming. So that time we pivot, uh, we create a new page called Picky, P-I-C-K-I-E. Yeah, like, but that's not the most popular page among all no, the pages, yeah. right? No. But during MCU, it was... It, it went crazy. It was, oh. yeah. So so we asked 20 editors to buy things from Shopee Lazada. Yeah. And review. And review. Yeah. So Actually, have... I straight away tell them like, guys, find anything interesting at your house and start shooting and then you just need to find the product on yeah, mm. yeah. Shopee and Lazada. Because I think that time it was very famous in uh, maybe Tou Ying, but it's not very popular in Malaysia. Yet, so you guys were considered quite pioneering. So that, that yeah. time, we first month, we generated about 12 million for Shopee. So our commission mm. was 20, 200k. 1 to 200k. Wow. Mm. 20k then that one enough to sustain the team already yeah. 20 yeah. 20 plus of you correct can already i just wonder when's the exact point that your revenue should be boom oh. and then you you guys know that oh this time wholesale already, wholesale already. <laughs> i think after uh, mco because during yeah. mco a lot of people starting to scroll social media page yes. and then um somehow our follower really grow and grow our, uh, content consumption mm. in Malaysia also grow. So yes. a lot of people started to know about us. And then after right after MCO lifted, uh our inquiries really start coming in. Yeah. From all the clients. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, we grew a company from five million to twelve million at that point. Then that time later. you guys felt oh, this time really wholesale. Really. <laughs> do do you have any investors in you guys that time? Yeah. It's still the three of you or that time we already formed Good for media. Good for uh, Sanyo Bahad started 2018. Yeah. So 2019, we raised our first fund, oh. Angel Investing, 170k. 
Who is who is that? He is he still in the business? No, no, no. He's not. No longer lah. Yeah. Because we have another uh, another investor. Luke Bryan came in. So 2018, 2019, he came in with 170k with a 10% equity. So that time, value our company 1.7 million. Yeah. Actually, that time we already think that we are wholesale already. Because <laughs> wow, you value yeah. a company. So actually, I used a bit of my investment banking experience also lah. Because that time we didn't even have like accountant or anything. No. So I just take like he studied finance. Yeah. I issue invoice everything finance I do also. So at that time, I remember like our monthly. Uh, revenue was 50k mm. about wow. 50k it, so yeah, i use already. excel i am the one that have the excel to create all the invoice number tally with the yeah. finance and everything yeah so one year is like how much about five, 400 to 500k mm. yes we were like doing 30 40k a month of our revenue wow. and then yes. we say like okay this this is our valuation. valuation i think that should have been like why does he trust you and okay all yeah, yeah yeah yes can can so okay that time 20, <clears throat> 2019 so that time we were reading a lot of news like welcome post then in Asia that crunch a lot of me, a lot of uh, startup is raising money yeah, so we yeah. just want to the know how world, like, yeah we go to Credo we, we go to a lot of roadshow pitching la. so right, that time Credo we, we show them okay we are we are doing 600k a year Cradle not, not Cred- the Credo actually Credo Credo fund. Credo fund it's the Credo fund ah. oh, okay. so he said like oh I think you have more money than me I cannot <laughs> give you money I was like huh? okay <laughs> So, but I want to grow the company, ma. Then cannot. We didn't didn't get the fund. Didn't even get to pitch. So we were like, okay, but we we still always look at wow, company raising money, money, money. So that time we opt for private investor, la. No, I just like casual. So this this guy, he's he's a main he fool. He trusted in us so much. He's actually our client's Cli- family. Cli- client family. Yeah. So he. He, I think he's actually very visionary that time. Mm. He's saying like, oh, uh, uh, overseas media business is so booming, this booming. But, but media business is Malaysia. Yeah, you are doing the right thing already. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's telling us, this is the next trend. I, oh. I believe in you guys. Uh, oh. So, so after, we went to a lunch, lunch on mm. at uh, one of the restaurants in Penang. He said, how much you, you worth? Yeah. Then we say, we want to raise 170K. Our company raised value at 170, uh, 1.7 million. He said, I want to take 20%. Then we were like, not then so I comfortable. Like, cannot 10%. Take percent really. yeah. uh, then after I the... I also feel like we have so much more uh, yes. potential. You also don't want to... Yeah, we don't want to let go yeah. so much yeah. from mm. one investor yet. Then, second day, he well, passes the check. So at that time, both three of you are taking equal... 33, 33, yeah. 33. Yeah. Yeah. So we were at 33, 33, 33. So we cut 10% for him. Yeah. So next day, without any due diligence, without any lawyer coming, he, he passed a jack. It's hundred and seventy K next day. Next oh, day, steady. literally. Yeah. Ho- really wholesale. I got the hundred and seventy K <laughs> check. <laughs> it transferred into the company. La. Yeah, somehow yeah. it feels like someone trusts in you, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. No DD, no no anything one. But so he cashed out before uh you formed Google Media. So yeah. after he put in his money, we yeah, we used the fund. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So we used the fund to go to KL Foodie. So my brother next next day get a bag to come KL Foodie already. Yeah. Ah, so he at he the, at that time mm. how big is your follower base? I think only Penang Foodie. Foodie. Actually, that time only Penang wow. Foodie. Wow, how many are uh, maybe like two hundred k? Pa Cheng, ah, hundred k. About two hundred. Yeah. Yes. Wow, but you already reserved domain for other foodie already. pages already. Yeah. Yeah. Foodie, yeah. We are Kia Foodie, we are Java Foodie, Sabah, everything. Because he's a domain guy. Yeah, yeah. I love <laughs> all domain. the usernames. So, but he exited when Luke came in. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see. How did you manage to get Luke though? Okay, so it's actually uh, we our colleague, Kezo, she did a podcast that invited uh, Brian over. She yeah, it. so it's called Foodie Canteen. La. Yeah. Mm. So after after their podcast session, so uh, Brian actually told her like, oh, can I meet up with your founders? Yeah, so but because we were so introverted at that time, so it actually dragged, dragged everything <laughs> for half a year. Yes. So one day... That people want to meet you, you don't want to hang yeah, come with yeah, yeah, we are like staying in Penang yeah. still that time. We didn't and see the values of meeting people that time. Yeah. Ah, we're okay. like, okay, I don't want to. We will prefer to build our content. Yeah, da, da, da. Comfortable, comfortable yeah. with comfortable. 170k. I don't know what to yeah. say also in the meeting. <laughs> yeah. So after that, uh, one day we came to KL and mm. we decided to stay away. Like, I, then I, I said to May and my brother, why? what if I text Brian now? How much you guys want to give me? 
<laughs> yeah, and if if he decided to buy our company, because we manifest ma, we have been manifest. Okay, we can get Brian, we can get Gray, we can get Bujaya, we can get all the big company in Malaysia lah. So he said, uh, she said, want to give me a thank k, thank k, thank k money. Then my brother said, I will give you a car. If he, if he, in my, in my wow. company, like. that time already got the ability to like slap each other face with money already. Yes. <laughs> so so then I text Brian lah. Brian, you wouldn't believe it. One minute he replied in one minute. I can show you the text later. Then about ten minutes later, the dinner is done. So Brian replied, done. We'll see you Friday. <laughs> so like I was so damn cool, right? Then we we're all so happy. <laughs> so damn cool. Suddenly receive a car and ten k. <laughs> but that time haven't have. <laughs> I, I yeah, can only exactly. get a car if he put money in the company. Okay. Uh, so we so during, on the way to the dinner, we was really excited. I still remember. Yeah. So we go go to a restaurant at Loot at TTDI also. I yeah. think. So we were like, wow, okay. Later on, we are meeting Brian. Like big figure, you know. Yeah, yes. yeah, I know. All three it's a of big deal. deal. All three of us attend. Yeah. We can show you the picture also just now. So we were said. So during the dinner, Brian asked us, "Do you need any money? How was your business? Oh, are you doing okay? Uh, what is the turning point? Uh, how did your business do after MCO? All kind of business questions. So we we're like, oh, we don't need money. We are profitable. <laughs> we are self-sustaining. So we were so regret on the way back to our house. Yeah. We should say we need money. Yeah, we I thought the purpose of that dinner. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we want to grow into <laughs> other region and all. Then okay lah, we say fine meeting our idol right. Next morning eight a.m. Ah, he texts me, bro. Uh, would like to take a stake in your yeah. company. Yeah, oh, he's like super, super straightforward, and then oh. his sentence very short. One. Like you can show you the text also just later. Exclusively, I show you the text. You you save the screenshot. Your favorite is no, I uh, I didn't <laughs> delete the text. Are still there. <laughs> oh, so. But that time we wake up at 10 a.m. People wake up at 8. Brian wake up, wake up. People reply you in one minute. You took oh, two hours to yeah, reply. So we, were, we were like chatting until three, yeah. 2, 3 a.m. Oh. And then he woke up at 8, 8. a.m. Then we wake up at 10. I ran to my brother's room and say, Jose! <laughs> can, you, can you disclose like how much did you guys raise from the, the apartment? Uh, we can yeah, uh, Actually, Sitos also gets it. Yeah, so... Yeah, so okay. <laughs> So, uh, honestly, that time we cash out. We didn't put the money in the company. We cash yeah. out. So, How we much? sold our stake to, to Brian and Chileng and Brian father. Uh. How much did you guys uh, cash out <laughs> for each so of you? So, that time, PAT is about... That time is about 40 million mm, valuation. Mm, mm. Okay. Yeah, so, we cash out 40%. Each of you get like about uh three three plus lah. So we sold ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. Yeah, and then also the angel investor cash uh, out ten percent. Yeah. So for Kim, his name he cash out about twenty five times lah. Cool. Yeah. So from one hundred and seventy k investment, mm. he actually cash out quite quite quite, a lot, quite a yeah. number. In fact, in fact, at the time when Poki is in dividend already three three it's, four x. It's pretty decent already. He already cash out like. 600k already every year we uh we only declare dividend one time so uh he already declared the dividend mm. cool how does it feel like to suddenly get seeing so much money in your bank account really wow. happy unbelievable, uh. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. but you guys were equally rich right at that time who were paying I, I just wonder who were paying the bills before before you guys are rich Okay, so because, because before that we were earning I would say equally equal, right? equal. Yeah, so but every time we eat out, he will, he he will, will pay. pay yeah. But for the big things like um because we buy house and all that, we will we will split half half. Mm. It's quite so fair. So the big bills we split, but the small bills he pay. Mm. Cool. It is quite reasonable and fair because a lot of people thought that guys have to pay for everything, right? Yeah. No, now but our you first have to house, be rich like we buy also together. <laughs> our first house buy together. Our first land buy together also. Yeah. Yeah. So Post. So you all, you all uh, have a, like a joint bank account uh, or no? Yeah. So actually, separately, separately. Yeah, we are we so we manage our finance independently. Independently, la. but so we are. Don't know how rich we are really bad lah. Right. We don't know how I to know invest. I know how rich lah because we show each yeah, other our bank account uh, Show yeah. off to each other. Show we off, we yeah. yeah. Because <laughs> we are very open and transparent. Yeah. I think that's a joy. So like I will say, okay, now we are we are we are making this money. I show show her. Yeah. 
even show to my parents and all. Yeah. Because I think two of you are Taputo equally. Yeah, but now he is richer because he got, got... Tinyang channel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just wonder, did you guys uh change each other views? Like do you see uh each other change after becoming rich? No. I... Uh, it's still That's the same. No. Good question. He is still very good at good. <laughs> so so when I first we were first dating, right? When <laughs> he he she wants to buy a thing, she will go to go to five <laughs> different stores to check price. Cannot man? Yeah. Can, can. I think maybe I should be in the procurement department. Yeah, she is really like so her mom also say that I hate shopping with yeah, her. Yeah, people hate shopping. Her mom also cannot tahan and like go to five different stores and price check. <laughs> now also, now until now, she's still same mentality. Like she's still very wife material man. Her wife really wife material. She is super good. Uh, still, still the same. I think same. it makes you balance like if two person also very yeah, rich and leave like, the money together then yeah. you know? no, yeah. So we really still uh, I, I, I think we are still the same. I we, think he's also still the same. same. He's, he's never like very stingy one even uh, when he's know. not rich. Yeah. Like, it's because actually a lot of people thought he's rich from young right. Yeah. So when we first dated actually he's not rich lah. He's mm. still like driving my yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but that time he already like willing to buy me like small small gifts. Yeah. I think it's yeah. because of that's you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So so that yeah. time ah, uh, I still remember. Okay, two point eight salary increment. Uh, two hundred. I remember I text her already. I got an increment. Let's have a dinner. Oh. So so and I think until now even we are making uh more money now. Uh, that's a that's a fact, right? We are we are still living the same la, I think we are still go we go to yeah. makan then we happy already. We still eat very. We still the same la. Uh, yeah. Cannot go like fancy fancy oh, restaurants. We don't yeah. enjoy la. We Did you enjoy. guys buy your first house and car before the uh before Baron Bar- Bar- came in? Um, I think so. During MCO, yeah. we uh, bought our first property. Property mm. eh? that was before, is it? That was before. Mm. And, so, and now both of you are soon. Soon, soon, soon. Oh, cool, cool. okay. Yeah. After after you guys uh get the investment or uh, cash out already, yes. what's the first purchase? What's the most expensive that most expensive oh. thing oh. that you splurge? <laughs> uh I think that time I bought all the things that I wanted. <laughs> la. So we bought our first uh because we want to build a house, we bought land. We bought land, cool. we bought land in Penang, we bought a car, and I bought watches, yeah. a lot lah. So for me, I actually gave money to my parents lah. Oh yeah. So my mom, my dad, that's the first thing, and then... Um, same. Yeah, same, right? And <laughs> yes. then... It's the proudest moment. Um, mm. I also bought like uh, a branded bag for myself. Mm. I know it because I, when I stopped, you posted you it. I think that's a lean yeah. bag, is it? Oh my god, yes. How much, I How much was bag, the bag? 17 oh. and, and I feel like actually you can afford it pretty earlier, but <laughs> your kind of goodness. <laughs> yeah, good <of> goodness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I feel like, oh, I. I you finally yeah, don't need to think I want to reward so, myself yeah, yeah. Mm. using that. Yeah. yeah. How, how about your Mr. Bean car? Uh, also, also, after, yeah, after. That, that's. That's the thing I bought after I got the investment. Yeah. Do you have any regret purchase after the cash out? I do, I regret do. Regret purchase, yeah. So I, I realized watches is not my happiness lah. Yeah. But I'm really not happy, just keep at home. I, I'm happy for uh, just a few moments. Moment. It, is, it yeah. doesn't last lah. So I, I, sold, I sold some of it. Even like cars, also not my thing lah. Uh yeah. yeah. So you guys man I just now you mentioned that you guys manage each other finance uh independently. Independently. But then what did you invest that time? Do you have any uh, investment? Maybe before this, I didn't regret any share yet. Oh mm. my what what I regret. Regret, regret purchase. Uh. I think it's very unhealthy that time, but we were like going to, you know, Dior, all the like branded places. Oh, yes. and we were like just checking out what to buy. Yeah, we just then, asked the SA, what can like, I buy? Yeah, what other things I it's can buy? It's not like you want to buy it at first, but now I got money, yeah. tell me what to what buy. What can I yeah, buy? Yeah. So that time we actually bought a sleeper. Bought a lot of things that we don't actually wear after that. I like, bought a Dior sleeper. Yeah, 
we bought a sandal. slipper and then I think wear twice only. So oh, cannot wear. Then, the Emma sandal cannot wear one. Bought a bag. <laughs> like, I might bought the bag. bag. Twenty k. <laughs> cannot. It's very just, heavy. Just for the sake wear. of like splurging. Spend, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was the moment of realization that oh, actually this is not what I want. Hmm. I think when you look at the <laughs> the item like just oh. sitting there, that's when you think like even his brother also resell the bag. Resell the bag. We resell the bag. Already. And his his slippers, MS slipper a lot. You know, the old slipper all yeah. that still in the cabinet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that time, I I tell himself we need to really like that item. Hmm. It's because you like, then only you yeah, yeah. enjoy buying it. Yeah. It's not right. because you want to show people. So actually now we buy is like really. I think I still buy branded, but only if I really, really like it. Really, really want it. Yeah. But, but do you still have the same energy and passion for your business when you already like sold so, some of your stake to other people? Conf- okay, I we think, are yeah, super. Yeah, because we. You are, know, it can make even more money. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> so just year, think, year we are still growing. Yeah, I think it's a th- the the it's a it's the right timing doing the right thing. Now, yes, our revenue is to grow. Last financial grow about forty percent. Is I, I I think we passionately think that we are still very early stage. Uh, yes, yes. Our company can go even bigger now. You have that vision. But it's not for we are on it. It's not for the money really. It's not. It's our capability and our skill set. We know that how to do this business, even even better now. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you were saying you you make quite a big figure in a month. How much mm. revenue are you making averagely for food right now? Yeah. Okay. Two. Two plus. Two plus. Two plus. Two plus, two plus I think editor need to add the zero behind later. <laughs> no, there, there are one, two, three. It's all million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Two, two plus. Two, two million plus. Yes. Crazy We are approaching numbers. three million. I think wow. easily. Wait, soon, soon, soon. How many of you in the team right now? How many? Seventy. You're managing 70 people. Yeah. Yes. Including us, lah, 70. But yeah. we are still expanding. So mm. if anyone want to join us, <laughs> so any yeah, we are, we are heavily uh, onboarding good creators. Yes, yes, we love good talent. Yeah. But how do you manage so many people? We got page managers. So uh, those are managed by like page managers. And then actually after Loop onboarded, they, the biggest value that they give us is also the SOP, SOP. Like, the backbone of oh, like, because Systemized like, lah. Yeah, people, our, our angel investor also used to say the playbook is different if you want to yeah. go from you make 10 million to, to this yeah 100k 100k mm, to 1 million people, 1 million to 100 million is different people. if you're using the same method to grow a business yeah. can, it's, it's yeah. not gonna be so you need someone who's already there mm. and then they share you like what to track monthly mm. you know how to build your core team because when we started you know finance hr it's all us but yeah, yeah about Kaleo, team, but you know you yeah, if you want to expand very you cannot, mindset yeah. right we yes. feel like we can hands on everything and well, I can you, do everything. You run 95% also- profit margin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. So although they came in, we expanded our finance team. So that was the first thing because our mm. receivables were enough. Bad, la, were bad. I think but, maybe brand new is enough of the Excel invoice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So people really like they, after you have performed service, they don't pay. La. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It so happens, that, la, that it happens. happens. So, uh, when they came in, they also helped us to, you know, implement a finance team that will go on and actively ask people to pay. And then we also do like um installment plan for them. And then we also do like a uh, pay first before we also mm. a, a lot of different methods to yeah. really uh make our receivable back to the healthy stage. It's um, a whole new management and structure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And who is the one doing all this on the ground management? Finance side, so we onboarded have- my secondary <laughs> friend. Right. Already, yeah. So he's a CFO of the company. Yeah, he's yeah. the ex Deloitte manager also. Mm. Wow. So under him, we have a very good team of finance, about four people right now. Yeah. Mm. So imagine just four people taking care of finance. Yeah. Yeah. Is Lu involved in operation other than giving you the um, system? So we have a monthly, monthly management team reviews. and his team. He yeah. will still uh, oversee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, I think yes. he's very hands on with Super. us. Mm. Mm. Um, back to the question just now, sure. what what did you guys invest after you have so much money? Do you invest in any assets? Actually, before we got acquired, uh, we, we, before we sold some stake, we got some money. Previously, we invest a lot in crypto. We will go yeah, crazy. Yeah, MCO time, we were like a lot of other people thinking want to get rich quick, you know. Yeah. Then we started going into crypto, NFT. NFT. I remember 
I bought my I bought the most expensive JPEG was like 170 180k USD. I bought it online transaction. That was my most expensive purchase online. That time when you look at you look at Ethereum, it's like so cheap, you know, 0 0.2 Ethereum. Yeah, then buy everything you buy. 2 Ethereum. You yeah. forgot like the zeros that come after. So I think actually that time we invested and a lot I money. made like a six figure loss from there. Mm. Yeah, so I was like, wow, I, I nearly uninstalled the app really. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, do, how does it feel like making such a bad financial decision? Yeah, I think <laughs> when the Twitter asks you to buy more, the other time they want to sell. Yeah. The time we didn't know like Ke Chiu Chai. We learned a lot about Ke Chiu Chai. Rug. Because I yeah. think we are the retail, right? We follow people. Yeah. So all the top people that uh, using the board Ape as profile picture, using the CryptoPunk as profile picture, we thought that we, we treat them as, as like a financial guru. Lah. So we are just following everything they yeah, do. Yeah, you FOMO lah. FOMO, we FOMO, yeah. FOMO we, we FOMO hold, we hold, plus, we FOMO. Plus like the crypto market is 24 hours. Mm. It's not yeah. like you got working hours. So it's like, you will you will refresh until 2, 3 a.m. And then next day you want to wake up as soon as possible to look at it again. Yeah. So it was super unhappy. You, 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 you cut loss at one point we of don't time. Cut it, it so we, buy more. we don't cut loss. But there's a meme in crypto where it's like, I Diamond can go hand. lower. You, know? I, you can go lower. <laughs> So, so that time, I, I still remember like I bought Moonbird NFT. I didn't get the whitelist. So whitelist, people got whitelist two Ethereum. So at 10 Ethereum, I bought a 10 Ethereum. So at 20. So at 20, the price go up. I was like, I regret so yeah, much of selling. So formula, I buy like... back at 20, 22 oh. Ethereum. Then I sold at 1.5 Ethereum. <laughs> oh, so there are so true. many things much, I learned. How much did you lose from that investment? Uh, I think I invested about 1 million in crypto. Now I left. Now I have still a lot of, uh, I still hold about 75 Ethereum. Yeah. So, Without that, it's our retirement fund. Yeah. So I created a retirement fund. Now I put it on the side. Okay. Yes. Your so, retirement fund is like your highest risk. Yeah. <laughs> so, high, so high risk. Bad, yeah. Bad, Bad financial so I don't, decision. I, so that I learned, I should focus a lot on my business. Yeah. Should focus more on my business. Because like, so business is something that you can control. Investor. Yeah, so well, we when, are... when, when the moment that like you say just now, you all keep refreshing, yes. and then you keep losing, losing. Does it affect your business performance? So that time, uh, because that time we... is MCO. MCO. So we do we we couldn't do like our usual operations. Mm. So at that time, we were doing like most of the affiliate thing. Yeah. yeah. But you were struggling making money already that time, but then like, this time just <laughs> lose so, so much yeah. of money. It's one stage that we are losing money. One, one stage, stage is we are making, making money. money one. We refresh the arrow go green, up. Green, green, green. Yeah. So, so, so we buy we buy a uh, new coin like Dogecoin. Any any funny NFT we yeah. also buy. Her mom yeah. also buy. <laughs> so during that time we was, we because that MCO my everybody stay home. Yeah, yeah. We will keep on dreaming. Hey, tomorrow, this yeah, taman so we are the yeah. first okay, Lambo really? really? in this taman. First tomorrow. taman with uh Lambo. <laughs> a lot of funny things la. Mm, yeah. But we learn a lot lah. Yeah. But then you put your focus back into your business. business like yeah. The time realize this is something that you can control. Yeah. So we sold, we cut loss, all the NFT. Um, I sold my punk already. I sold my crypto punk. Just hold the Ethereum now. La. Is there other investment or assets that you guys invest in afterwards? Yeah. So personally, I, I learned a lot from my dad because my dad likes to invest in real estate. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he always believed like real estate is the one investment that Correct. can make you rich. Yeah. So only that time, her, his, her dad is the most smartest guy in the room. La. But we, we thought that he, 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 he is, short-sided. He's outdated. Yeah, you don't, uncle, you don't know. La. Yeah, the, everybody so like, <laughs> then he's like, he's eating food like, he, he yeah. feel like Meaning, this thing you cannot touch. Yeah, then... Beige ho, buy property. Mom, like putting no. in our money yeah. every day. Yeah, you feel like... Because I think for youngsters, maybe you feel like real estate is quite illiquid. Yeah, And then, yeah, it's yeah. Like the coin you can straight away thing, sell right? and buy. Yeah. But now, looking back... Looking back, back Gamuda stock. So, his dad is a pro Gamuda. Gamuda. Can, can say one, ah? Gamuda stock. Yeah, previous investment can say. Oh, okay. Cannot previous investment. He asks us to buy. Yeah. If we hold until today, actually, I'm still holding. He's so still the holding only Investments that really make me money is the things that my dad asked me to buy. Yo, <laughs> so yo. Gamuda stock, I made about like two hundred percent return already. I would say twenty twenty two to yeah. now. 
But, but the failed investment is not like you listen to him or he listen to you, right? Do you guys blame, together. Together, no, blame we, each other? We first, but I Christo, got even more FOMO than yeah. him. He buy a lot of Cardano, Ada. Hey, 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 don't say that. Sasoy. <laughs> Sasoy, <laughs> uh, The, the Ethereum killer. So, yeah lah. But we, we, honestly, we were making some money, like minting, like other side land, NFT yeah, land. Got one morning, casual morning. Yeah, we were all like, 10 Ethereum. And then all of us just casually made like, 80k each yeah. and then we went home happily yeah that was like the booming era of yeah. crypto mm. nft nft so we you cash out thing. yeah that one we cash out but um, but we we buy NFT some other nft well. la. the thing is you also bring in your family to do this yeah. Yeah. This is one. like this when, when you fall down right uh, you see whole family but, face yeah, one, you green them, one did you say anything or we avoid the conversation la. <laughs> will they blame no, we are very healthy, very healthy. Because we disclaimer all... first, I cannot blame yeah, me one. Yeah, yeah. Disclaimer, mm. what are NFT but it's non-financial advice? Better not, <laughs> better not, better not. Better to only share things that you know. Yeah, right? yeah. Is that the advice that, that you, you will have for our audience from your past experience? So, so from our past experience, I would say like, still real estate lah. So we bought a land, we bought a house, house. and then I bought <clears> another house and a, a condo. Mm. Yeah. So what what we usually do is uh my dad also tell me like you so you research la the prices like, the price of the houses nearby first and you see what they are selling and whether uh that area is convenient is first thing. Is that area uh so we like like more uh quieter area or mm. residential but convenient meaning the, the roads can go a lot of place for right? investment lah. Yeah. So those are good investment. Mm. Yeah. But as for me, I'm a bad investor. I hold cash. I don't. I don't invest now. You you let it. I take the. I don't even put on inside FD. Yeah, like. same same. I My put at the FD. Uh, current account. Just get the maybe. Uh, Very minimal. Zero point, uh, one point. Uh, maybe one point eight. One point. One point. Two five yeah. But I think some some banks they're offering two la, Better rates for, current for the account current account, but. Maybe for people that know finance, they don't encourage that. La. Until today, you're, you're putting it. I'm still holding yeah. cash just on my current account. You love seeing the cash sitting in your bank oh, yes. account. What's yes. the reason yeah. to, 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 to do that? La? Because so, FD is also considered safe. Right? Yeah, since you're not, yeah. you're, no, you're not using that much yes. of money in a shop here, yeah. why, mm. why not you yeah. just... So yeah. one, we put, we're la. putting some money <laughs> on our, our loans. We just tackle the... 2% then we tackle the uh, interest rate 4%. Oh, you, you put in the I house put, loan? We put in some in the house mm. loan. Yeah, yeah. We used to cover um, the loan interest. And most of the cash, I because I don't know what to invest, really. really. Uh, I do invest in uh, the local market stock, even like overseas stock, but I just don't know when to sell. So it's great, la, always great. We so, also invest in like small businesses. La. Uh, now because I would rather invest in... Uh, Start up lah. Yeah. Uh, what What's the reason that inspire you to invest in startup? I, I mean, think one thing is I that... can bring value lah. I yeah. feel that I can bring value to the startup. Oh, it means that if you invest, you will also go into I you. Know. You will you also will oversee their operations. Advice, yeah. I love. I love that. I, feel like that. Like I love startup culture. Why stop? It's like so far Something away. you cannot control. You so. cannot control, and you don't know what's yeah. happening inside. Yes. Like the only stop I buy Gamuda is because my dad works in Gamuda. Used right? to. So it, it's that like used to. So. Uh, I feel like we we because we know how to run businesses, so we prefer to invest in businesses, and then we see like whether it can grow further. It's something that you can control at least, mm. and you have the vision for it. You have yeah. you are familiar with the operation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how do you select this startup? Like uh, you see, okay, you got potential. Yeah. You don't have. So I think the most important People. thing when it comes to it is the founders. The founders. The founders is the most important. So. Because um, when you talk to the founders, you have you to see know. whether click or not uh, first. Because mm. if not, then the longer conversation cannot tajadi mm. anymore. So we invest in founders, we invest in the business idea also. So if let's say it's very similar to our industry or it's something that we, we are very interested. I realized that because last time you guys uh, never show face in video, right? Mm. But then slowly Pinyang is more active than Raymond mm -hmm. in you start to come out, uh, do videos yeah. on the ground. What's the reason that you start to build your personal IP? Okay. There are a few reasons that I started to build my IP. One thing that uh, we learned from China, IP is very important. Yeah. Uh, second thing is I, I just want to inspire 
my team also to, to create more content and the thing is giving back to 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 the society, society. yeah so i want to use my content to inspire people last time my dad used to sell things at morning market so you can see a lot of my content is social experiment yep. i go around selling then i up people yeah so in a way it's also i want to spark creativity so a lot of my content i think i find quite interesting la. but a lot of people are, have been asking uh, is that stage no. the gifting one no, yeah, no. Real. So all is I use my real money to since I, I catch out a bit I have money. So all the things I I buy myself I, I just give it away. Cool. But the the R is there. My 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 this new venture, uh I just started last year. Yeah, the revenue is good also. The margin is also good. Yeah. But it's you alone in that business. Yes, hundred percent equity. How does how does Rumi uh, see this growing do you feel like you also want to build your own <laughs> I think because I think you have that ability also mm. yeah I, I I would consider uh, because a lot of people around me they are starting to build their own IP and I've mm. seen like good uh, good results from there it's easier for you to go out and talk to people it's easier for you to find even better opportunities so that's something that I'm considering. Yeah, but because my day-to-day -day operation is like yeah. yeah, you have to find that niche. It's right? actually very so challenging for us yeah. also. You have your own personal one, and yes. you are looking to go into one maybe. Mm -hmm. like, how do you balance? You know, yeah. your, your your food media is it's also a big thing. It's like so big and it's going so fast. How yes. do you allocate your time? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so now we I I only operate my uh, Young Malaysia after work. So for day to day, I still very much focus on uh, Good Foodie Media. So uh, morning until evening, I will go and meet people for Good Foodie Media. Our guest sales, looking at everything, operation, numbers, people, make sure the business is, is still growing. Then I will, will only uh, spend my time for my personal branding. Wow. Yeah. So it's very busy. So morning, I work until night. Because I do live selling after work. Yeah. Yeah, so, I saw that you're mm, so yes, packed your also, schedule. Like, yeah. Yes. And then I, I think you mentioned that the sales from TikTok, mm. you're giving back to community. Yes. How so, much can you make from, from mm. like, let's say, one, one TikTok uh, live like, session? Yeah, yeah. So building Pingyang, in a way, I also want to expand another business unit for foodie side. So, uh, foodie now is content. So, the next thing we want to do is commerce, which is live selling. So, I use my personal account to try first. Yeah. So, at one point, we can do, in three hours, we can generate about 200k. Highest, highest record. GMV, yeah. In a month, we can do uh, 1.5 million uh, sales in a month. GMV. GMV. Yeah. So as a live affiliate, you will get a percentage la, like 10 mm. to 20%. About 10%, yeah. 15%. 10 so 1.5 million sales last month for Pingyang. Uh, my prof, my income is about 180k. Wow. Mm. And then you get, you just give it back to... So I will, I will hire people. So I hire people for live hosts because I want to build my live studio. I'm building my studio also. I reinvest the profit to build studio. So the next wave is I we believe in commerce. So now you see Pingyang can generate about 180k a month, the commerce. So imagine we have about another 10 channel on on TikTok. We have Foodie, KL Foodie, uh, Jaw Foodie, Halal Foodie, Malaysia Homie. All yeah. this channel can sell for FMCG products or even home and living products. Yes, yeah. because I think if you look at Douyin, you simply know that you know, Tai Ho right. is Tai Ho the trend. Is the thing. Yes. Yeah. But I don't know why in Malaysia, I think it's quite popular in the Malay market, but mm. for Chinese, I, I'm not sure. I think compared to Chinese, mm. it's pretty less, right? So Chinese yeah. love buying things on Facebook, Facebook. too. Mm. Mm. Uh, because yeah. of the population also, uh, because yeah. our population is lesser than China, so ah, yeah, our true. GMV might not go that high. Yes. Yeah. But actually, because we tried and tested with his account, that's why we know that, oh, actually there is ROI there. So yes. from there, because previously we didn't have any live expertise also, we started yeah. as media page, but after uh, hands-on on his account, so we also learned how to do like live, mm. so we can incorporate this into our main business. Yeah, it's like you all have a lot of SME mm. uh, advertisements. Correct. So how, uh, what's the balance like? 
No, what's the ratio? Ratio, yeah. 10. Ratio is about 50, 50, right? 50, 50 now lah. Is that uh, your target or how, how so do you see So that yeah. is, we, we think that this is a very healthy portion mm. because because our vision also helping SME. SME, yeah. yeah. So we actually have different rates lah. Mm. We have our normal package that is uh, cater for cater for big, big brands. Big brands. We lower the rates so that SME can also afford the package. So mm. we want to fill in the gap because um for for a following size of this size and then yeah. um English language and then this price point is actually very less in the market. So we yes. want SME to be able to afford. Or package and um so we are looking at this portion that is very healthy like fifty percent of big brands and fifty percent of SME. Yeah, because mm. as a business, we don't want the big company to really control our revenue. Yeah, and big company payment term is slow. Yeah, sixty days, yeah. thirty days. So our healthy is very positive and mm. healthy because of SME clients because yeah. they pay they have to pay their policy before our shipping. Yes. Yes. Mm. Or you have different payment terms for. Correct. Different kind yes. of yeah. different because categories of yeah, yeah. payment term tends mm. to be very slow. Do yeah. Do you have any clients in your wish list right now that you really want to work with? Oh uh, no, clients. We would love to work with like um client that's not in our industry yet. For example, insurance company. Uh, so for example, um, uh, banks. Some other banks. But I think banks and insurance company, their target is also retailers. Retailer. People, mm. And they should be able to work out with They should be guys, able yeah. to, yeah. yeah. We, we need to think of like a content. A perfect plan for them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, convert them into our... Mm -hmm. But please bundle us inside also. <laughs> sure. <Okay. laughs> Will you encourage your own staff to be their own content creator? Yes. 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 They want to Actually, do like side hustle. We do. Actually, yes, we do. We tell them like as long as it's not working hours, feel free to go and do your content because um, as we say, we are also progressioning to um, selling creators like... Yeah. Creator KOL. economy. Yeah, creator mm. economy is going to be huge. So mm. even now, we are seeing like demands of, you know, publisher and KOL. So last time, it's all about traditional media. Yes, now yes. it's moving to digital media and from digital media, it's moving to KOL. So we also tell them like, Okay, if you are our team member and you are a content creator yourself, we will actually prioritize you. That's mm. how um, we attract talents also. So a lot yeah. of our, our talents, our creators, they are actually micro-influencers themselves. So when when we sell the package, we will sell them first uh, because they are uh, 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 your yes. people. Yeah. yeah. So one last advice from you, maybe you can uh, share a bit. Mm. Uh, any opinion or advice that you can give to our audience? Okay, I start first. Okay. So as for me, I strongly believe in the law of attraction. So anything you want in life, be it healthy, relationship, uh, parenting, money, everything, health, wealth, you just ask for it. So I'm a strong believer of manifesting. So anything I want, I keep very positive. I want to be a creator. I want to be a top one live streamer. I just ask for it. Then I believe one day I'll make it. So. If you are, if you want anything in life, just ask for it lah. Then believe that you can achieve it. Then I'm, I'm sure it will happen. But you guys need to know he never stopped hustling or so lah. Yeah. <laughs> Not just believe you know. Yes, yes. Uh, How about yeah, correct. So <laughs> once you ask for it, right, you had to work hard for it. Then confirm you will, you will get it. Yeah. How, how about Remy? For me, I think uh, it may sound cliche, but I think it's don't be afraid to start because um you will never know when is the right time. For example, mm. when we first started, actually we didn't anticipate for the company to grow until the stage that it is today. And then um, you just start and do and as you go, if you face any problem, actually Google is your best friend. So like I say myself, I also Google uh, YouTube how to do, how, how to edit videos, you mm. know. And when I, when I see problem in management, I will Google how to manage people, how to manage them more efficiently. So I think actually, um, if we can do it, actually anyone also yes. can. It just depends on how proactive you are yes. in um, solving your problems. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. We say how much, how much effort do you willing to put it, put in things that you want, lah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, right. So maybe you can give a money advice or something. Money advice. Ma one um, money advice from Pinyang. <laughs> Okay, money After advice. After listening to think. so many field kids yeah, yeah. just now. Let me think. Uh, money advice. Have installed Twitter. Okay, for me, for me, um, as what I learned throughout my business journey, 
um, don't spend too much, right? Uh, we are, we spend very like China men lah. So this is the way to describe. We are very careful. Yeah, we spend very carefully. Yeah, even our office now, uh, we started as a co-working space. Even now we have, uh, our rental is only 5K. So oh, we, 60 plus people. For 30 people in, oh, okay. in KL, right? So I would say we, 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 cause you don't know when sometimes like, like, uh, another crisis happen. So you will have to have money to su sustain your team, right? So what we learned dur during our MCO, right? We, we didn't cut any salary because we, we save most of money in the company. Yeah. Some people say you should invest your cash flow, right? You should expand, 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 expand. So we expand very carefully. Uh, even in other C market, we only have like very lean team, two people team. The operation, operation team, Malaysia will support the operation, the, the financial side, operation side for other, other countries. So I think for money side, spend carefully. Um, only invest in the, the, the business unit that you see the, the potential. La. And you, you hire, understand. Yeah, hire, also hire slowly. La. Don't, don't, don't rush to expand. Yeah. I think this is the way that, that, that I see, like, also pay tax. I love paying tax. So I, I, I save all my money. I save all the money in the bank. I pay tax because in the future, you want to sell a company. People look at PE. People look at PE. You want to borrow money from bank. People look at PE. Although we haven't, uh, borrow, borrow any money yet, but I think this is the, this is the people that look at because they look at credible company also. Uh, so this is maybe my, my two cents. Yeah. How about Remy? What money advice do you have for our audience? I don't really dare to give money advice, but I think um, if let's say you are running a business, always remember that your revenue has to be more than your expense, then only you got profit. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a very simple, simple. equation. Mm. But sometimes business owners, they may, like he say, you may spend excessively. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we really we, uh, have to make sure the company is profitable. Yeah, you have to grow steadily, I yeah. think. Don't over -expand. We are not in the mindset that, okay, we spend this money in this quarter, we look for series A, series B. We need never do that. We only do angel round. But at that time, we also profitable. So we uh, we run it as uh, businesses. Uh, business. We don't go for f uh, raising round. Mm. Because I, I find wasting of time. Mm. Always is... Go and pitching, doing that is wasting of time. Yeah, uh. yeah. Yeah. You have to Make do sure it at your own capability. Yes. I think now it's a very winter stage also. Re really focus on company making it profitable. Yeah. Okay, thanks Pinyang and Rimei for joining Thank us you. again Thank today. You Thank you so much for having yeah. us. Please stay tuned for our video. Yeah.